Okay, so we have initialized and created all the things that we need. So at this point, we actually are going to try and get that image of Bob Ross uh, into our buffered image. So <clears throat> the first thing you need to do is create a resources folder in your uh, in your project. So we're going to create a source folder, and I'm going to call it resources. And that is going to be where we store the image of Bob Ross. And so let's go grab that image right now. I downloaded a GIF file of Bob Ross called Bob Ross Afro.gif. And I'm going to put it right in the resources file and just click OK to copy it. And now we need to initialize the Bob Ross's image thing. We do this with a try catch block, which we haven't used before. Basically what a try catch block does is like allows your program to run even if there is an error, like a resource doesn't exist that you thought should exist. So it's a good way to like, you get some information but your program doesn't crash. So we're going to use this image IO class of objects and we're going to um, say get class and frankly I don't understand what this is I just know that this is the way you load images get resource as stream and now we need to provide it the location in memory so because we put it in our resources folder all you do is to specify that location just start with a forward slash like the program will know that it should look here if because this is in the build path it's called so uh, it is the default location for your stuff so if we just do slash Bob underscore Ross underscore afro dot gif that resource exists um, so we do this uh, try we haven't done the catch part so what if that resource didn't exist though we want to say uh, rather than having our program break when an exception in error is thrown, we want to catch it and we want to do something with that error message. We just want to print why, like where did it come from. I want to print the stack trace to show me like the stack is just uh, uh, the name for the memory. And so just print like what the heck generated, what part of memory, what line of code generated that error. Um, so it's a good default thing to do just to know where your error is being like generated. Okay, so now we have this Bob Ross image uh, loaded into our buffered image called Bob Ross. Now we just need to draw it when that button is selected. So um, where am I adding our buttons? Initialize brushes panel and clear button. Oh, set brush attributes. Okay, here we go. We need to add uh, the circle but dot add action listener, the action listener, and Bob Ross but dot add action listener, the action listener. Now we need to add those buttons to the panel. So panel one dot add uh, circle but and panel one dot add Bob Ross button. Uh, and if we run this program now, you should see those buttons show up. It's, we're not going to be able to run anything yet, but there he is. Um, so now we need to add some information to our uh, change listener, or not change listener, action listener. Uh, where is the action listener? I should have the, there we go, action performed. Um, if source equals clear button, okay, so um, if e.getSource uh, equals circle but, we want to set the current shape, current shape equals circle. And if uh, e dot get source equals uh, Bob Ross but we want to set the current shape to Bob Ross okay so now in our current shape we're remembering which uh, shape we want to be drawing and then under mouse dragged we have to set up some if statements if current shape that or equals uh, Bob Ross, 
we want to add uh, the point to Bob Ross's dot add new point at draw X and draw Y else if current shape equals circle we want to do all of this stuff we want to add the transparency the shape and the color okay and now under the draw method um, we need to draw all the Bob Rosses so we're gonna say for int i equals zero i is less than Bob Ross's dot size i plus plus and here I'm gonna say g2 dot draw image uh, Bob Ross is the name of the image uh, the X1 we're gonna say oh we need to do some other stuff uh, we need to get so this won't be annoying we're just gonna um, get the so int X equals um, Bob Ross's dot get I dot get X because Bob Ross's is a list of point objects so I'm able to uh, get the X coordinate from that point. And Bob Ross's, we're gonna do int Y. Bob Ross's dot get I dot get Y. And then we're gonna draw the image at X, Y, and let's just get the size of the slider. Oh no, let's just do it this way for right now. Just no size. Um, but something is wrong. Cast to int. Oh, because it returns a double. So we have to uh, actually cast it. Because uh, the points, points, point objects store their values as doubles so they can be very exact. But we just want the integer value of it. So that's how we cast it into the int x and int y. And I think if I did all this right, it's going to work. So let's see. Here's the big test. So if I click on Bob Ross, does he draw Bob? <laughs> does it draws Bob Rosses? And it draws it a little wonky. You see the arrow is way up here at the top left corner, but uh, there he is. Now does it go back to drawing circles? It does. And it's going to be set up like that right now. Like the Bob Rosses are just always going to be on top. Um, and frankly, I don't want to expend the energy to fix that right now because it'd actually be a little bit complicated. But there you go, and you can play around with how to make Bob Ross images the different size. So I'll just tell you, if you want to do that, um, there's another draw image method that takes, so Bob Ross is the name of the image, then the X and the Y coordinate where you want to start drawing, and then you can enter a width and a height uh, value after X and Y and before null. And uh, the last thing that I forgot to have us do actually is you want to dispose of this uh, G2 um, robot every time you draw with it because every time this method is called it's creating a new one and never disposing of all of them and so you want to make sure to at the end of your paint component method uh, dispose of the G2 graphics object otherwise it'll just stack up in memory un unnecessarily so it'll still work here we go, and you can select Bob Ross and draw with Bob Ross. Um, <laughs> it's pretty ridiculous. You can do that with any image. You can have many buttons for all sorts of different images. Okay, that's it. Bye.